Welcome. Well, you know what this screen means, so let's just get right into it, shall we? Go strict music. Always a plus. Four secrets. Knife. Four participants. Yeah. Oh. Eh? And their victim. That is why you are here today. That is the premise of this game. Uh oh. I wish you the best of luck, Detective. Ooh. Welcome to a game of turnabouts by Gizmological. A fan case that is fortunately not a Game of Thrones reference. To my knowledge. Straighter Manor, Main Hall. Okay. So, to start off with. Widget! That means... Indispensable partner. He sometimes blurts out what I'm thinking. Hi, Widget. Which means we're Athena! Hell yeah! Eh, Athena, Trucy. Eh? Right. Very good. Quickly sets the continuity that we're in here. Let's begin. I'll admit... I wasn't sure what to expect when we were invited to come here. Doesn't this all seem a little bit strange to you? Eh, it's no party, that's for sure. No food. No drink. There's barely anyone else here. And the people that are here. Yeah. Ah, hello. Bartender. Does it feel like the other guests are giving us weird looks? They absolutely are. As if I didn't already feel awkward enough. It's definitely weird. Why would someone like Arcus Strader want us here? Strader? He's supposed to be some sort of incredibly rich businessman. Ah! Imagine my surprise when he just showed up at the agency out of the blue. He told us that he had some kind of big event planned and wanted us to be there. My pecs wish to invite you to my big event. Apparently he's a big fan of Mr. Wright's work. I didn't even know that lawyers had fans. My biceps are big fans of your work. Strader was definitely more interested in the boss, but he said I was welcome to join. And that's how we ended up here. The other guests are friends of Mr. Strader, I, I assume. That means that they're probably all super rich and important. So what the heck did we invite us for? I don't belong here. What if I do or say something embarrassing? I'd be done for. Uh, are you feeling okay, Athena? You've gone a little bit green. She's freaking out! Just take a deep breath, okay? You're fine. Why don't you mingle a bit? It might help calm your nerves. N mingle? With these people? They're probably all super classy and professional and that. Uh... What's up, dudes? Haven't seen you guys here before. Huh? Talk about totally awkward. Someone needs to break the ice, don't you think? Name's Ken Forza, by the way. Nice to meet you. I, uh, huh? Is he a, race is he a race racer? You okay, dude? Need to lie down or something? She's fine. Yeah, let's give her a minute. Rebooting. My name's Phoenix Wright. Nice to meet you. The young lady having a panic attack over there is Athena Sykes. Uh, hey, that's... me. Phoenix and Athena. Sick names, bro. Like superheroes or something. Well, Greek mythology, but... Uh, are you a friend of Mr. Strader? Yeah, something like that, I guess. I dated his daughter. You... What? 
What? Is that weird or something? No, of course not. I just thought... Never mind. Not that I really know that much about the man. I didn't even know Orchestrator had a daughter. Huh? Oh, yeah, well... Excellent. Looks like everybody is here. Ah. If I could have your attention for a moment, everyone. Oh, wow. Hello. I would, li I would first like to thank you all for attending this little event of mine. My pecs formally welcome you to this event of mine. That's him. Orchestrator. I don't know what it is, but he has some sort of powerful aura about him. He's like a fighting game final boss. The whole room just got suddenly more tense. There are a few familiar faces here, certainly. However, I would like to take this time to welcome our special guests for this, e for this evening. Mr. Wright, Ms. Sykes, please introduce yourselves. Ah, hel hello there, everyone. It's nice to meet you all. Uh, um, good, good, good day, all. Smooth. Hmm. Hmm. That, that went well. Don't worry about it. Those guys are all kind of stuck up. Mr. Wright is rather well known in the legal world for his skills as a defense attorney. That is why it only felt natural to include him in an event such as this. See, there's a reason that I invited you here today. I prepared a little game for you all to play. A, a game? Oh, for heaven's sake. Listen here, Arcus. The only reason I took the time out of my busy schedule to come here was because I was expecting a night of luxury and entertainment. Now you tell me the only reason we are all here is to play some silly game of yours. Oh, don't worry about that. This will all be very entertaining, I assure you. You see, tonight will be a night of mystery, cunning, and murder. Huh? Murder? Is this some kind of joke? No need to be alarmed. Nobody here is going to die. As I said, this is simply a game. A murder mystery game. Ah! Murder mystery. It's quite simple. For tonight, this manor has become a crime scene. A young lady, let's just call her the victim, was stabbed to death in the study upstairs. And the person who killed her, well, that would be one of you. What? What are you? Do you know what's going on, Mr. Wright? A murder mystery party. Never been, never been to one myself. As I understand it, everyone's given a special role that they need to fulfill. Based around a fictional murder. Solving murder mysteries, huh? A little on the nose, but it sounds like it could be fun. Now then, please allow me to hand out everybody's ro everyone's roles. Miss Sykes, afraid I wasn't totally prepared for your attendance this evening. I hope you don't mind if you and Mr. Wright share your roles left for this. So we need to work together. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Alright, let's see what our roles are. Oh, oh simple enough. Your role is a detective. Catch the killer. Hell yeah. Looks like we've been given the role of the detective. Our task is to find out who killed the victim. Since it's also your first time in this manner, I prepared a map for the two of you. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? Alright, let's take a look. Simple enough, library, lounge, dining room, kitchen. Master bedroom, study, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. Fairly simple. Looks like this will end up being a pretty fun night after all. There's just one thing that's bothering me. Even though this is only a game, doesn't it seem like everyone's still a bit nervous? Psst, 
Ken. Do you know what's up with the others? Ken? Ken? There are two more things I should tell you all before we get underway. First, I've sent all of the staff away for the evening. The only ones currently inside the manor are myself and you six guests. Secondly, the game is to remain confined to the inside of the manor. I've locked all of the exterior doors as a safety measure. I keep the key with me at all times. If there is an emergency that requires us to leave, please come find me in the master bedroom. Those are the rules. As of this moment, the game has begun. We'll all gather here again once the game is finished at 10 p.m. sharp. I hope you all enjoy yourselves. What's this uneasy feeling I'm getting? Not just me. Everyone seems scared all of a sudden. Oh yes, one more thing. I'd seriously recommend that you achieve the goals you've been given before 10 p.m. If not... I might just have to reveal your roles to everyone on the outside. Oh? What? You can't be serious! Reveal our roles? What's he talking about? Is this gonna be some real... mystery where th the other three have all gotten some, like, blackmail materials along with their, uh... game roles? Yeah, th th it's gotta be something like that. Enjoy the game. There's something very strange about all this. You're not kidding. It looks like the other guests are all going to look around. Already? We haven't even had a chance to speak with everyone yet. What about you, Ken? You wanna look around with us? Huh? Uh, oh, uh. Actually, I was gonna stay by myself for a little while. I'll catch you dudes later. Bye, Ken. You seem cool. He ran off. I wonder why everyone reacted like that. Bringing us all here to play a game is definitely odd, but it doesn't seem like anything sinister. Are you sure about that? That talk of revealing our roles gave me a bad feeling. But, it's just a game. What harm could it do? Maybe we should look around a little. Might even be able to find some clues about the, the murder. It's just turned 8 o'clock. Gives us around two hours before the game finishes. Did we really work out who was given the killer role before then? Alright. Fuck yeah, I'm down for this. We might, not have to, we might not have detective badges, but this has got to be the next best thing. Flashing a badge around to all the guests is certainly one way of doing things. But judging from their reaction to us earlier, I don't know if it'll earn you very many style points. I don't know about that. I can flash this thing with a lot of flair, you know? First you crouch down like this. Bring your arms in like so. Do a full twirl as you grab your badge and... Slam! Ow, 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 ow. Uh, are you okay? I stubbed my toe. What with that stupid table there? Flare, huh? Detective Widget is on the case. Leave it to me. Awesome. You, me, and Widget will make sure the perfect make the perfect team in this game. And how do you expect Widget to help us investigate exactly? Widget has lots of helpful info for us. Watch. Widget, the Monami. Tell me everything you know about Orchestrator. Information unavailable. Please check your internet connection. <laughs> I can't believe Widget runs on, runs on Wi-Fi. Remind me to ask Mr. Strader for the Wi-Fi password when we next see him. Fair enough. We've been given the role of the detective. It means it's our job to figure out who killed the victim. I wonder what roles the other guests were given. I suppose they could be anything. We know for sure that one of them was given the role of the killer. This is exciting! I'm getting pumped up! Come on, Mr. Wright! Let's go catch ourselves the culprit! I doubt it's gonna be as simple as you make it out to be. Oh, I like that laughing sprite. Main hall, lounge, library, dining room, and kitchen are all on the ground floor. 
On the floor above, we have the study, bedrooms, and bathroom. This is one impressive manor, all right. All right, done presenting, done presenting evidence. What to do? Where should we look? Judging by this floor plan, the manor is pretty big. Maybe we should look around for the other guests and ask a few questions. I guess it would be a good idea to introduce ourselves. I'm also curious about what roles the other guests were given. I guess one of them has to be the killer, right? Business as usual, I suppose. Fair enough. Any ideas? You've been given the role of the detective. Looks like Mr. Strader invited you here on a whim the other day. You must not have been prepared for an extra person to come here today. That's why we were both given the same role. At least it, at least it means we can trust each other in this game. Two ace attorneys working together. Find the killer will be a cinch. Plus, I've got a secret weapon in case we run into any trouble. Ah! I feel like the lie detecting magic rock's probably cheating. I guess you're right. I'll put my Magatama away for now. <laughs> Where do you think we should be looking now? Hmm. The study is where the supposed murder took place. We should start there. It might be worth searching the library. I'd like to spend some time in the lounge. It might be worth investigating the dining room. We should go talk to Strader. He said he was in the master bedroom. Okay, well, we got lots of, lots of stuff to do. This hall is massive. It's a grand stairway in the center, and a few doors dotted alongside, around the outside walls. It's also the front door to the manor, but Mr. Strader told us that it's locked right now. Tree? I don't think there's anything else to see here, but... Yeah, there's nothing obvious to see here. Let's move. We could go a lot of places. Go to the study first. The study. This is where the victim is supposed to have been killed. In that case, there's probably an important clue around here somewhere. Time to do what we do best. Let's have a look around. Examine the obvious thing. Rose. This is just paint, right? Probably. This has got to be the murder weapon. A steak knife, huh? There's a handprint on the handle. Too bad Detective Sky's in here. She could have identified the fingerprints for us. I don't know. Strader's the one who prepared all this. Whoever was given the killer role. Doubt their prints are actually on here. True. We were only given our roles a little while ago. Besides, fingerprints on here seem a little too smudged to be identifiable. Uh, that's too bad. Still, we should keep this knife as, a knife as important evidence. Wait a sec. We shouldn't touch it. Why not? Think about it. If the other guests catch us carrying the murder weapon, they might think we were we were the ones given the killer role. Oh, that would complicate things. Don't worry. I'll just keep some notes instead. Bloody knife notes. All right. Solid wooden desk. There's a piece of paper here that catches my eye. It's like a handwritten letter. Are there any names on it? No. It's just been signed as the victim. Well, that's an unfortunate name. First name V, last name Victim. Strader didn't refer to the victim by name I earlier either. The victim is nameless. That would make sense. Nobody here is filling that role, it seems. Well, it's not like you'd invite someone to a party and have them play dead the whole time. Regardless, this letter might still be an important clue. I mean, unless you have, like, your younger sibling. They gotta look after, look after during your murder mystery parties. Like, hey, come play dead. Dark red sunset over a tranquil forest scene. The manor is built on top of a large hill, which gives it a pretty impressive view. Alright, 
I don't think there's anything to see there. Oops, did I pick up the wrong thing? Okay, presumably used to stab the victim. The blade is covered in blood. Well, it's actually just red paint. There's also bloody print on the, from the from a right hand on the handle. Though the fingerprints are too smudged to be properly identified, we left the knife in the study after finding it. This is what I wanted to see. Lover, I am truly sorry for doing this through a letter. I don't think I'll be able to handle saying this to your face. As much as I enjoyed our time together, I'm afraid it cannot go on any longer. I'm doing this for your sake, as I would fear for your safety were we to remain together at this time. You have every right to be angry, but I pray you will be able to forgive me in time. I know that I haven't stopped loving you, but I am afraid this will have to be goodbye. Sincerely, the victim. This is going to be about Straker's daughter, isn't it? The Straker's daughter. I'm getting that feeling. Let's go next to the library. Mr. Strader has his own personal library. Impressive. Oops. There's gotta be hundreds of books in here. I guess someone in the manor is a, liter is a literature fan. What I'm really interested in is whether there are any clues in this room. Wait a sec. Isn't that... Oh, hey! Ken! Ugh! You scared the crap out of me, man. Proud of me, bro. Sorry about that. Mr. Forza, what did you come in here for? Oh. Oh, we're just having a look around, is all. Why does he seem so nervous all of a sudden? He was acting this way back in the main hall, too. That's some sweet bling you got there. It's my attorney's badge. Never leave home without it. You wear it even when you're not in work? Is that kind of weird? Well, I need to have something with me that I can flash at people. Okay, it's a little weird. What's with the funky necklace? You talking to me? Ugh! It talks? This is Widget. He helps me with my cases. Still, it talks? That's kind of creepy. You think you could turn it off? I'm sorry, Ken. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, Ken. Ken. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on something. Huh? Uh, sure thing, dude. What do you need? Ever since Mr. Strader told us about the murder mystery game, everyone in the manor started acting really weird. That includes you. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. There's something more to this game that the two of us don't know about. No, I... I don't... You hear a great amount of sadness in Ken's voice. <sighs> it's about Mr. Strader's daughter. His daughter? Didn't you say that the two of you were dating? Yeah, about that. I actually worked part-time at an auto shop. I met Strader's daughter when I did some work on her car. I started dating a little, le a little later. I don't know why she liked me so much, really, but... Uh, we're not together now. Ever since three years ago. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. And yet he was still invited to, the invited to this party. It's fine, but... Something even worse happened back then. Hmm? Try to think of it. Remember what Mr. Strader said back in the main hall? First, I've sent all the staff away for the evening. The only ones currently inside this manor are myself and you six guests. Eh? Seven of us are the only ones inside the manor. That'd mean that Mr. Strader's daughter isn't here now. Ken, do you know something about Mr. Strader's daughter? Yeah, she... She was murdered three years ago today. She... what? 
On this day, three years ago, Marcus Strader had a party at his manor. It was just a small party. I was invited. So were the other three. Strader's daughter. Her name was Isla. She didn't come down she didn't come down for the study all night. We were dating at the time, so I decided to go check on her. And she was dead. Someone had stabbed her in the chest with a knife. Uh, hold on just a second. She was stabbed to death? In the study upstairs? But that's... Yeah. The same story as this murder mystery game. But why? Why would Mr. Strader base this game on his own daughter's death? I have no clue. It's hella weird. That would explain why everyone began to act strangely earlier. Because they were all here when the murder three years ago happened. The police never did find out who did it. Apparently there wasn't enough evidence for them to name a suspect. Which means Isla's murder still hasn't been solved. It's messed up. I guess I can't blame the guy for going a little crazy. Huh? What do you mean by that? Alright. Isla's been gone for three years now. It's not the first time that Strait has lost someone close to him. There was someone else? You dudes notice what Strader was wearing. His right hand. His right... Oh yeah! He had a glove on his right hand! I did find that a bit strange, that he only wore a glove on one hand. It's not a fashion thing. Dude's hiding some nasty burn scars under there. Burn scars? Ila told me about it when we were dating. Oh shit. Ila... Her dad. And her mom. The three of them were in a traffic accident when I was 13 years old. The car flew off the road and went up in flames. The trader managed to grab Isla and save her, but he got burned pretty badly. Never seen it, but apparently the whole right side of his body is nothing but burn scars. That's why he never takes that glove off his right hand. Wow, I had no idea. Strader managed to keep the whole thing off the news, so not so many people know about it. I can't blame the dude for wanting to keep it private. After all, it wasn't just his body. The dude lost his wife in that accident. His wife? I had his mother. She died on impact. There's nothing he could do. That's so sad. First his wife. And three years ago, he lost Isla, too. Strader was close with his daughter. Real close. Don't think there was a single secret Isla would have kept from her old man. Then she died. And Strader was left by himself. I mean, imagine it. Being left all alone in a huge, empty mansion for years. To what if the dude went off the deep end? That's terrible. Poor Mr. Strader. Sorry to bring the mood down like that. At least you guys know what's going on now. Murder mystery is based off the real-time murder of the Iris Strader. What a mess. Well, thank you for telling us this, Mr. Forza. Yeah, don't mention it. Okay. Oh, alright. So interestingly, we've played our hand kind of early with regards to the connection between this game and a real murder. It makes me wonder where this is going to go from here. You know? We can go main hall, we can go lounge. Lounge. What else we got? Ah, you too. I'm glad you showed up. Come here, I have need of you. I guess he's not one for introductions. What do you need us for? That's something I've been wondering. Argus gave you one of those colored envelopes, correct? The ones with our rolls inside? 
Yeah, he did. Ah. Ow! Hey! He shoved me. What do you think you're doing? Tch. Don't worry. You'll have it back in just a minute. The detective, hmm? Not very original. You can't look at that. That's cheating. Oh, do be quiet. I have little time for this silly game. Well, if you don't care, then why are you so desperate to see our role, huh? Stealing our envelope hardly seems in the spirit of things. And what the heck gives you the right to push my co-worker around? Such insolence. You clearly don't know who you're speaking to. Correct. No one with the slightest amount of tact would speak to Ronald Barr in such a way. Is... is that a name I should recognize? Eat badge, loser. Oh, I get it. You want me to hire you? Uh... Forget it! I have already... I already have access to the finest lawyers in the entire country. Whatever. I was even offering in the first place. This guy's a giant... Mm -hmm. Crave it, widget. Hey, what was that noise? And why did you just shove that necklace of yours in your pocket? Oh, uh, no reason. Help! It's cramped in here! Oh, widget. What you did earlier was really rude. Are you still going on about that? I apologized, didn't I? Actually, you didn't. Well, then that shouldn't indicate how much I care about your complaining. Wow, this guy sucks. G correct. Why do you care so much about what our role was, anyway? Let's talk to him and find out. First off, who the fuck are you? What brings you to this party? Argus is an associate of mine. He's a partner and shareholder to my company. And what company would that be? Ignoramus! What kind of rock have you been living under, exactly? Ignoramus? Was that an insult? Did this guy, did this guy go to a school for wizard, wizardry? That... Were you to remove your head from the dirt? You would know that I, Ronald Pennington Barr, am the creator of the uh, one and only Bar Link social networking website. Bar Link? Even I've heard of that. The biggest social networking site on the globe. Even Trucy has an account. So social networking? Thought those kinds of sites were made by teenage hipsters, not eccentric millionaires. Tsk! The younger generation are all easily manipulated idiots. A couple of years of market research, and I was able to craft a product they couldn't resist. All I needed was a little financial support from Strata to get my business off the ground. Now Barlink is one of the most profitable sites on the internet. That's quite a story. Hmm. Don't pretend like you understand the intricacies of my work. Now run along and make me some more ad revenue. That, this guy is a jerk. Well, you're an asshole. What can we show you? Tsk! Perhaps Strader was an influential character for my business. That doesn't mean that he can just walk all over me. Yes, I've had quite enough of this foolish game already. Why not just ask to leave? Strader can hardly keep you here against your will. Perhaps, but... Ah. Uh, that would be rude of me. Yes, indeed. So, so what? You already showed us that you have no problem with that. I don't get it. Why does he seem so scared to walk out? What about you? Oh, you want to hear all about me, don't you? No, not really, but alright. I'm releasing my autobiography next month, so you'll just have to wait, I'm afraid. You think I want to read page after page of you stroking your own ego? Yeah, no. What do you know about this guy? Time is money, and if you haven't noticed, I'm not feeling particularly charitable right now. Good line. If you wish to ask questions, then call customer support. You should have your answer in five to six weeks. So that sounds accurate. Ah, Strata's daughter. Terrible business that was. What can you tell me about the, right, the night that she was killed? Eh. Let's not get into that. 
This party is already depressing enough, don't you agree? I guess you'd rather not talk about this at the moment. Fair enough. Then we have nothing to do with you. Hey, look! There's a note on this table. Did you notice this too, Mr. Barr? You dare take me as a fool? Yes, of course I saw it! Somebody's self-conscious. This looks to be a testimony describing the movements of all the guests. The only strange part is that it appears to be using code names. I guess we'll need to find out what these names refer to. It's signed the Game Master. I take this as prob this was probably written from Mr. Strader's point of view. In that case, it's probably a trustworthy source. I mean, Mr. Strader isn't actually a part of this game, so he would, he would have no reason to lie to us. Interesting. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. When the murder took place, when the party began, all the guests were in the main hall. The victim was on the upper floor in the study. I stood at the base of the stairs. The thief entered the lounge as soon as the party began. I did not see him again until after the murder. The snoop stayed in the main hall for around 15 minutes. Following this, he had a short conversation with the seductress, who had been in the dining room for the past 10 minutes. He then entered the library. The seductress remained in the main hall. The lover stood, stood by my side since the party began. After 40 minutes, he claimed to need to use, the, to use the restroom and walked upstairs. Two minutes later, there was a scream. He runs downstairs and says that he found her body. Upon hearing the scream, the thief and the snoop leave the lounge and library, respectively. Everyone is now gathered in the main hall. The Game Master. Okay, so clearly the, the lover is Ken. We have the, the thief, the snoop, and the sedu seductress. Is that really the only thing that catches your eye? Huh? Take another look. There's something very odd here. There is? Sheesh. Someone, someone who doesn't care about the game, you sure do enjoy butting in a lot. Now listen here. This is supposed to account for the movements of every guest. And why are there only four names written here? Hey, you've got a point there. There are six guests in the building, but only four are mentioned. Even if Athena and I are playing a single role in this game, there should be at least five names here. So who's missing? Is this why he was so interested in what our roles were? It feels like we weren't actually a part of that discussion. Doesn't seem to account for every one of us. I say, we obviously w weren't a part of the original incident, so... Don't know what we'd be expected... We would have, we would have been expected to have played in the... Oh no, I, I mean... Uh, right, okay. Okay. I know what I did. I jumped ahead in logic a little bit. The point we're supposed to be trying to make here... Is that... Is precisely that. Since the detective is not present in this testimony... Then this testimony isn't actually about this... This murder mystery incident. It's about the murder three years ago. Where Wright and Athena obviously would not have been. Okay. Nothing but dust. Okay, nothing to see there, really. Shut up. Can go to the library. Main hall. Were we in the study? We were in the study. We haven't been in the dining room yet. Hmm? Those two people. They're talking to each other quietly. Oh. Never mind. We'll discuss it later. Looks like we've been spotted. 
They certainly don't look too pleased to see us. What else is new? Well, is there something we can help you with, you two with? Would you be able to take a look at this? Yeah, listen, we're kind of in the middle of something right now. You think you could do us a favor and give us some privacy? But... No point in antagonizing them. Let's come back later, Athena. Let's talk. Okay, let's try and act classy here. Good evening. I don't believe we've met. We haven't. Name's Connor... Connor Iving. I wonder what the, the, the pun in this name is. Connor Iving. Oh, I, oh, I, I jumped to conniving. Con Iving. And, but when I just read his name out, it also sounded like Khan arriving. It's good to meet you. Hey, that worked. Good job, Athena. So what brings you here? I came here with my boss, Ronald. Uh, oh, you work for that, uh... I mean, you work for Mr. Barr? Sure do. You're looking at the head of finances for Barr Link. The Strader family and the Barr family have always been close. Ever since Arcus helped Ronald fund his business... Argus threw a little party a few years ago to celebrate the success of Bar Link. But that was just a dinner and drinks kind of thing. None of this murder mystery crap. Not a fan of Strader's game, I take it. It's just weird. Bar Link has, alre has already had enough trouble as of late. How are we going to recover if our biggest influencer has gone loopy? That seems a little harsh. It's just a game. You saw the way Arcus was acting in the middle of the in the main hall earlier. You're gonna tell me that you know for sure he hasn't gotten something sinister planned? Might just have to reveal your roles to everyone on the outside. I guess that did sound a little threatening. Uh, sorry to backtrack, but you mentioned your company has been having some trouble? Oh, I guess I did, huh? Alright, what about it? So what are these troubles that you were talking about? I guess there ain't no harm in telling you. News has already hit the papers anyways. Social media security scandal shakes, shakes cyber community. That is a sensationalist title if I've ever heard one. That's what you'd think. But it actually wasn't. That actually ain't too far from the truth. Bar Link is the biggest social media platform on the net. But it was discovered that the data of, our, data of our customers was being leaked to third parties illegally. Leaked? Advertising firms and the like pay good money for that kind of personal info. And it looks like someone on the inside has been giving them exactly what they want. So Barlink was stealing personal information from people who didn't even know? That's kind of scary to think about. Barr certainly didn't mention that when we spoke to him earlier. And that's why it's causing such a stir at the company. We don't know who's, we don't know who's behind it, but Ronald's going to give him a hell when he finds out. No kidding. Whoever's behind this is making a mockery of his company. Alright, newspaper article. That lady has been staring at us for an uncomfortable amount of time. Excuse me. What's your name? Oh! Uh, how rude of me. I'm sorry. My name is Grace Barr. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh. Barr. You're part of that family, too? Ronald is my husband. We married just under three years ago. Timely. Sounds like you, sounds like you married into quite a bit of money, then, huh? And not to be rude or anything. Uh, well, way to just drop that out of the blue. Oh, um... I ain't quite like that. Grace's maiden name was Gildan, who are of a reasonably well-off group in their own right. They may not have the same kind of money that the Barr family does, but they still have a lot of a lot of influence in the business world. Yes, our marriage also led to a lot of collaboration between our families. Even without his money, Ronald is a wonderful man. That's not the impression I got from him. That's for sure. Besides, this lady seems quite a bit younger than that fruitcake. Oh well. 
Love is love, I guess. Hmm. This kind of thing is pretty bad for the company. People care a lot about their online privacy. But it's a pretty big deal when stuff gets leaked like this. Yeah, that does sound pretty scary. Hmm. Would you have to take a look at this? Ah, uh, sorry. There ain't much for you to talk about here. Guess you're not interested in this. Uh, hey, Athena. Maybe we shouldn't go around showing our roles to everyone, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. I guess it'd be bad if whoever has the killer goal knew who we were. This guy looks shady as heck! I don't trust him! Hmm? What was that? Darn it. Uh, that would be my friend, Widget. That's a clever little necklace you've got there, yourself there. Huh? There's one thing that's gotten me through life. It's been keeping people at an, at an arm's length. You don't want other people to take you for a fool. You've got to maintain a healthy paranoia. That little gizmo of yours is right to be distrustful of me. As would anyone else. What a depressing worldview. Yeah. Uh. God damn. Anything to see here? Nothing to see here. Thank you, Athena. This is a huge dining table. And yet the cutlery has only been laid out at a handful of places. Well, there are only seven people here. Those knives. You noticed it too, huh? You should remember this. Someone snatched a knife from the dinner table. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Let's go talk to Straker. Mr. Wright. Miss Sykes. It's good to see you. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Strader. I do hope that you two... That the two of you... Are enjoying this little game of mine. It's certainly been an interesting experience so far. That's true. But I have to admit... I've got some questions about what this game is supposed to be, exactly. I was very impressed by the things I heard about your law firm. I just knew that there was no way I could pass up the opportunity to invite you to this event. Is that why you assigned the detective role to us? Now, now. I can't give you any information about the game. How do you know that I didn't just assign the roles at random, huh? There's something about this guy's expression that just doesn't sit right with me. He is certainly planning. Anybody else freaked out by this guy, or is it just me? Bridget, hush! Hmm. Oh no. What a fascinating device you have there. Very impressive. Uh oh. Uh, thank you. Please just shut up from now on, Bridget. Alright, let's just talk. Would it be okay for us to ask a bit, of the, a bit about this game? To six with Sykes. You should search for the clues yourself, not ask me for help. Oh no, I'm not asking about who the killer is or anything. I'm just interested in why you decided to hold this game in the first place. Have you spoken with the other guests? You should introduce yourselves and do a little bit more legwork around the manor. He's trying to change the subject. Might need to gather a bit more information before I try to ask about this. Oh, okay. You have questions for me? That's fine. I really think you should spend some minute. Come talk to me later after you search the manor some more. Okay. Do we not have all the evidence we need? I guess not. Oh, we didn't explore the library, did we? There are a ton of books lined up on these shelves. This one's sticking out a bit. I'll just push it back and push it back into line. Ah, there it is. What the? Well, shit. 
bookcase just sank into the floor. A secret passage. Dude. That is like so cliche. You didn't know th you didn't you didn't know this was here? No way, dude. I never did come here very often. I wonder where it leads. Only one way to find out, I suppose. The two of you should stay here and watch the entrance in case it closes again. Uh, good call. Last thing we want is to get stuck inside. I'll be back soon. Thanks, boss. Mr. Wright stepped into the dark passageway behind the bookcase. A couple of minutes passed. And then... The upstairs hallway. Yeah. A, a little ways into the passage, I came across a set of stairs. They doubled back on themselves. At the top, I found a wooden panel. I pushed it, and I found that the other end of the passage was hidden behind a painting on the top floor. Looks like the passage can be opened from either side. The painting is on a set of hinges, so it could easily be pulled open if you knew the passage was there. That's crazy! Why would Mr. Strader have something like that? Dude has always been a fan of weird stuff like that. I wonder if this passage is connected to the game at all. Maybe I should ask Mr. Strader about this when I get the chance. Ooh, is your package passage info added to the manor map? Click. You're closed again. Looks like it's set to shut after a certain amount of time. Painting upstairs was similar. It would swing back shut after you opened it. Interesting. I wonder who else in the manor knows about this passageway. Nobody saw me come out from the other end of it. Some of the other guests have been coming here a lot longer than I have. It's not totally impossible that they might know about this. Something to keep in mind, I suppose. Okay. Let me out. Time for us to talk to Mr. Straker. Is this for me? What else can you tell us? Oh, we can give you the bar link article. I was curious about this. Ah! That article. I see. So you do know a bit about my company, it seems. Actually, Mr. Iving told me about told us about this. He did, did he? That man should be more careful about where he points his fingers, considering his shortcomings. And his shortcomings? You want to hear about it? We've not revealed this to the public yet. But this scandal isn't the only problem that has befallen my business as of late. Are you sure you should be telling us this then? Please, don't they need to be kept secret from those that matter? Telling a pair of nobodies like you will do me no harm. Dumpkoof. It's true that somebody has been stealing da customer data for a profit. But there's another party that has not been so subtle with their illicit methods. I'm talking about embezzlement. I mean, someone on the inside has been stealing money from the company? Well, yes. That is what embezzlement means, Mr. Wright. And yet Connor, the head of Barling's finances, did not even notice it. The scheme only came to light when I discovered that money was missing by myself. Even now, we have no idea who is behind it all. They must be pretty good at covering their tracks if they've stayed hidden for so long. Alright. Oh, I know what you're about to say. Forget it. I don't need your help. When I press charges, I'll have a team of the best lawyers in town. Uh, that's not really our firm's area of expertise. Tease, anyway. Fair enough. 
Oh, do we know enough now? Very well. Suppose I can tell you some things. What would you like to know? I should ask about the information I've gathered so far. Okay, so we can present now. Now, now. I must be very careful in what I tell you about for, about for the time being. It wouldn't be fair to the other guests for me to give the two of you any hints. Sounds like, sounds like the game is off limits. I'll have to stick to asking questions about Mr. Strader and the manor itself for now. Manor itself, like map. We found something interesting when we were searching the library. That secret passage. Were you the one that had it installed? I'm sorry? Did you say secret passage? Huh? No way. You seriously didn't know? There's a secret door behind a bookshelf that can be used to get to the upstairs hallway. The hallway entrance is hidden behind a painting. Y you're joking! That can't be! Then... That would mean... With all due respect, how did you not know about something like that in your own home? I... Don't go in the library if I can help it. My late wife spent most of her time in that room. It's quite painful for me to be there without her. Oh, I understand. My family took up residence here some years ago. My wife died a year later. She would have told me had she found the passage before then. That certainly didn't take us too long to find it. And again, I suppose we were poking around a lot more because of this murder mystery game. I guess that, makes, I guess that means the passage has been here for as long as the Strader family has owned it. This is interesting news. I thank you for bringing it to my attention. Strange. Looks like he's thinking really hard about something. Hmm. ask about fearfully insensitive for asking about this I can't ignore how peculiar this whole situation is Mr. Strader I wanted to ask about Isla your daughter I see the others have talked have they it doesn't matter I knew that they would but I'm sure you've heard is true Miss Sykes my daughter is dead she was murdered three years ago, and her killer was never found. I'm... I'm very sorry for your loss. I'm sorry to bring this up, but I need to know what's going on here. Things that I've heard about how Isla was killed. They all bear a striking resemblance to the way this game is set up. The scene of the crime, the murder method, we even invited the same guests. I can't imagine that there was anything other than an in intentional choice. That is a reasonable assumption to make, I agree. My daughter made me so proud. She was the spitting image of her mother. I was studying at Ivy University before she died. She always had a great interest in business journalism. That end, she worked closely with Ronald Barr, a partner of mine. I see. Bar did mention that Strader happened to help to fund his business. I spent spend a lot of time at the Bar Link main offices to gather information on the business. With my connections, I was able to get her in direct touch with the higher-ups at the company. I guess that would include Mr. Iving and the CEO himself. It all sounds very impressive. I can see why you thought so highly of her. I'm sorry. I can't speak of this any further. But... You will have your answers in time, I promise. But... Please. Allow me some time for making me recount the incident. That's it. I don't want to press the issue any further. The saddest I hear in his voice is almost unbearable. I'm 
Sorry, Mr. Strader. I won't bring it up again. I believe I've already told you more than enough. Don't you think it's time for you to be getting on with your investigation? Looks like we're done here. The map shows us a few more places that we haven't explored yet. Yeah. We haven't looked at the upstairs bedrooms yet. There's also the kitchen downstairs. It might also be worthwhile to take a close look at the main hall. The biggest room by far, and we only skimmed over it at first. It's already 9.20. We only have 40 minutes left to look around. You think that's enough time to search everywhere that thoroughly? Maybe we should split up while we search. I can take the top floors while you take the ground floor. We can exchange information once every everyone meets back up at the main hall at 10. Good idea! That way we'll be, we'll be able to cover twice as much ground. I wish you both the best of luck in your search. I'm incredibly interested in seeing the truth you discover. Mr. Wright and I left the room and parted ways at the top of the main staircase. He went to search the two bedrooms, and I returned to the main hall to see if there was anything that we missed. And next time, we'll enter the next phase of this mystery. Until then. Until then. I'm digging this so far.